Hey up folks, welcome back. So I'm just out this morning for a walk with Ruby and I've brought with me a lightweight folding camping chair that my missus kindly bought me for Christmas. So it'll just be a short video today. We'll go for a little walk and then I'll show you this chair. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you've got anything similar let me know how it's working for you. Catch you later. Let me show you this chair. You're gonna have a go. So it comes in a bag. Uh, with the bag, it's 970 grams. So it's not a massive weight by any means, but not the lightest thing either. So you've got to think about luxury versus weight, I guess. I think for me, I'd probably ditch the bag and leave it at home. Because what you get is your poles and you can see I've put an old strap around them so you could put those in your bag like that and on the chair base you can fold flat and put it down the front of your rucksack so the poles are all connected so you can't lose anything and they're all on elastic, so you can't put them in the wrong place. And that's the frame. And then this has got little pockets on it that the poles go into. It's really tight. I know the Trichology one's got little loops on there, so you can pull it pull the material and get it on easier. And that's it built up. So it's really quick and easy to build. Hello. It's quite comfortable as well. It feels sturdy, feels safe. One thing you do have to be careful of with these is where you put it. So I'm obviously in the woods and you've got four quite thin legs so they can easily sink. I know for some of them you can get another piece of material that links all four legs and stops it sinking on soft ground and sand. And then putting it away is obviously the reverse of putting it up. Once you've got the first bit off, it's a lot easier. Again, fold the legs up. And that's it, all packed up again. The bag's got some loops on it, so you could tie it to the outside of your rucksack if you wanted to use the bag as a handle on both sides as well so you've got multiple options we'll stick it on the outside if you've got space for it inside as i say i'd take it out the bag put the poles in and then flatten the the material bit and just slide it into your your rucksack that way right Let's crack on so as with most things from your sort of aliexpress and ebay places it's a cheap copy of 
more expensive chairs. So Trekology do one that's pretty much exactly the same as the one I've just showed you for 44 quid. And the original one was the Helinox Chair Zero. I think that is still a little bit lighter than this one and the Trekology one, but that's 90 pounds. So again, it's about how much do you value that weight saving versus three or four times the price. All right, I'm just gonna stop for a drink, I think. Try this chair out properly. Yeah then, good girl. what it's all about. Cheers everybody. Ready? Find it. Oh all right. Onward. Did you see an aeroplane? You remember them? Weird seeing one after so long, but I guess it's a sign that things are slowly getting back to normal, which is good. So I guess in terms of a verdict on the chair, I really like it. Obviously it is a little bit of extra weight, but if you're going somewhere with an awesome view in the Peak District or Lake District or wherever, you want to be able to just sit comfortably and enjoy it. And I think it's an ideal thing to take with you. Obviously sit mats are a lot cheaper, and still quite comfortable. Or you can just sit on the floor or a log or whatever, but it's nice to know that at the end of a long day walking that you're gonna have that nice comfortable chair there ready for you. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting one. I won't take it out every time with me. It'll be down to whether I've got space in my rucksack because I just don't like having things on the outside. I don't know why, I just don't. And it'll depend where I'm going as well. So I'll put some links in the description below to a few places you can buy it from. The cheapest I found it on Amazon with Prime Delivery was 26 99 You can get it for three or four pounds cheaper on eBay, but obviously it'll take longer to come. And then the cheapest place I found it was AliExpress. And it was coming out at £19.26 with the tax and delivery and everything else. But obviously that's gonna take the longest to get to you. So if you want one quickly, I'd get one from Amazon. If you don't mind waiting, just go to AliExpress. There's a few different colors available as well if you don't fancy a, a bright orange one. So the specs say the chair will take up to 150 kilos in weight, which is just over 23 and a half stone in real money. I don't think it would take that much, to be honest. Probably sort of 18, 19 stone max. I can't test it properly because I'm only seven and a half stone. So as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. I've got loads more gear reviews, wild camping trips and outdoor cooking videos planned with a new video coming out every week. So make sure you keep checking back on the channel. Or if you hit the subscribe button, give the bell a ding, you'll get an alert as soon as a new video comes out. Stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.